Liv. Today I have another breakfast video for you, but these recipes are breakfasts for when you have a little bit more time on your hands. So say you don't have anywhere to be in the morning or it's a weekend. That being said, I know that my recipes usually revolve around being quick and easy and these ones are still very easy and fairly quick. I don't think they would take longer than 20 minutes, but they're just for those days when you have a little bit more time or when you want something a little bit more special like on a weekend. So yeah, that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. To get started with the tofu scramble, you're going to add some onions to a pan and I just added a teaspoon of oil in the pan so that they would get kind of crispy and sizzly. Um, you can use any kind of onions you want, but I use green onions. And then add half a package of firm silken tofu. I like this better than using firm regular tofu because I just think the consistency is better. So I use the brand Mori New, and then add a quarter teaspoon of cumin and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. And just be careful when you're stirring it up that you don't break it up into a big pile of mush. You still wanna have some chunks like you would with real scrambled eggs. And then just add some pepper and salt and half a tomato diced. In the meantime, toast two pieces of bread or however many pieces you want. Right before the scrambled tofu is done, you are going to add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and this just gives it a really nice savory flavor. Then just add the tofu scramble to the pieces of toasted bread. And then top it with a couple slices of avocado. This is optional, but very recommended. And finish it off with a sprinkle of pepper, and I added a slice of lime, which I squeezed over it right before eating, and it was amazing. So for the pancakes, you are going to add three quarters of a cup of flour, a quarter cup of cocoa, a teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, and stir that all together. Then just add a cup of non-dairy milk. So almond milk, rice milk, coconut milk, oat milk, you get the idea. And stir that together. It can have some lumps. You don't have to stir it until it's completely smooth, but just stir it until it's combined. For the cookie dough, you need a tablespoon of vegan butter or coconut oil, a tablespoon of sugar, then just quickly cream that together, a teaspoon of non-dairy milk and a splash of vanilla, and then two tablespoons of flour. So stir that together until it's all combined, and then I don't know why it didn't show it here, but I added uh, just a couple chocolate chips. Then heat up a pan to medium heat and add half a cup of batter to make each pancake and this will give you about four pancakes. So then this is sped up but you just want to wait and don't touch the pancakes until they are covered in bubbles and the bubbles have popped and then at that point you can flip them. So they should look like this when you go to flip them. and then just cook them for one more minute on that side. They're basically done at this point. So then just plate it up and add the scoop of cookie dough on top and finish it off with some maple syrup or brown rice syrup, whatever you have. And that is it. These are seriously the most decadent, amazing breakfast ever. And I suggest serving it with some fruit. So for these breakfast potatoes, you need two medium potatoes peeled, and you're just going to chop those up into whatever shapes you want. I just did kind of rough cube shapes, I guess. Then add them to a medium pot and add just enough water until they are just about covered. You don't need to fully submerge them in water. Um, I used about two cups of water. Then just boil them until they are cooked, so about five to 10 minutes until you can put a fork in it and they're soft. And then I added a teaspoon of oil to the pan and added the potatoes. Then I added a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of basil. You can add salt and pepper to taste if you want to. Then 
To serve on the side, I toasted a piece of bread and I added some slices of avocado on it and then I topped it with a big juicy slice of tomato and some black pepper. So then just keep stirring the potatoes until they are as crispy as you want them and then just put them on a plate with the toast. And then I added some vegan mayo mixed with sriracha to make like a spicy mayo to dip them in. And these are so good. They're super easy to make. They just take a little bit of time because you have to boil them first, but they are so, so good. And I know you're gonna love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm uploading it on a Monday right now so that you have enough time to get the ingredients and kind of plan what you need before the weekend. But I hope once the weekend rolls around and you have a little bit of extra time, you are inspired to make one of these recipes. And if you do, don't forget to take a picture and tag me so I can see it. If you have any questions, as always, leave them below. Any video requests, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.